if CJ wasn't out, uh, able to play, he probably would have to try to different plays. But now that he's cleared everything, everything's good. Obviously, you talked a lot with your parents about Kansas the first time around, but this last couple of weeks, how much have you talked with them about that and their experiences up there? Uh, just as much as the first time. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, just we talked about it just as much. They were always in my top uh, top two or something like that. If that's what you want to call it. Because I've always loved Kansas. I've always watched them. It's always been a dream school for me. Is it crazy that this, that this opened back up? I mean, laying in bed last night or the other night, did you ever think it would? I mean, you, you were here in November signing with Memphis. I mean, did you ever think it would happen? Uh, I didn't think it. I didn't think about it about Coach Cal even or anything like that. But it happens to a lot of people, and it's just not me that went through it. So people. It, I just know it happens to everybody, so I wasn't even Kansas, and I've always wanted to, but I took a, a step back from my brother at Memphis, and now that he's cleared to play anywhere, uh, I'll get my chance to play in Kansas. Xavier, are you trying to get anyone else, possibly, to come to Kansas and make a couple phone calls, John Wall, or any uh, other recruits who, have, who are undecided right now? At the beginning of the season, before I picked Memphis, I was trying to see who would go where and who I could help go places, but... Now I just made my decision. I don't even know who Kansas is recruiting now. And I'll just I'll have to figure that out probably in the next couple of days. You talked about Sharon and Cole a little bit. Have you talked to either of those guys or anybody on Kansas throughout this process? Uh, yeah, Mario Little. I talked to him a lot, and I talked to Cole Aldridge. And uh, they just wanted to see what I was up to, just uh, just make sure I was doing all right and see where my head was at. So you think you'll already be pretty close to those two guys that you on campus? I mean, you already kind of know them a little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm close to a lot of them up there, but those are the two I, I usually talk to. What did uh, Mario and uh, – what did they say to you when you talked to him last? Uh, well, Mario, he just got out of surgery, so he was just checking to make sure I was doing all right and seeing if I was really coming and just trying to welcome me. And then Cole, he's just he's just talking to me like a regular person. He's just seeing what I'm up to, when I'm going to be up there in the summer, and just seeing what I was up to. X, do you remember when you exactly decided? That, I mean, do you remember where you were at when you finally said, you know, this is the end of this for me? Uh, it might have been at home. I was probably talking to my brother, but I know I told Coach Self, like, right after I got out of the gym, uh, like, two days ago. And he was pumped? Yeah, yeah, he was excited. He was definitely excited for me. And how about your brother? Is he is he ready to make the move? Yeah, yeah, he's just trying to get through the school now in Memphis and then finally get to come home for a while, and we'll go to summer school together, and then we'll be ready for next season. How good can this team be, even? addition of you and, and the returners that they had. I mean, they were a Sweet 16 team and it was close. Like yeah. yeah. So I think this year we can go, we can go sky's level. We can win a national championship. Everybody signs. That's how I like to play. Do you think with Sharon and Cole coming back, it takes a little bit of pressure off you being that you're a highly rated recruit coming in? Do you think that helps help us, helps out a lot? Oh, that definitely helps. Uh, Sharon stepped up big this past year with his scoring and Cole. He does everything. So, uh, It'll take a lot of pressure off offensively, defensively, everything. So we'll just, as long as we have a good team, then we should go far. Talk about your relationship with CJ. Everybody says you're super close. Just kind of give us an idea of that. Uh, well, me and my brother, there's no separating us. I'd do anything for my brother. That's why I was going to go to college with him, even if I wasn't very, like, I wasn't into it as much as Kansas. But I just want to be with my brother. I want to spend as much time as I can. Are you, do we look at you or do you see yourself as maybe a one and done player? Uh, if it happens, it happens, but I just want to concentrate on winning the national championship next year. There's nothing more I like than winning and winning the right way. So I want to try my hardest to win and help my team win. And if I go one and done, then I'm one and done. But I just want to win. I want to concentrate on next year as much as possible. X, right now, how are you? I know obviously the car race is a while ago, but how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling good right now. Uh, my body, I'm, I'm taking a little rest time for my body to heal up, but other than that, I'm feeling great. Just kind of lastly talk about, you know, this whole family, KU, all being Jayhawks. I mean, what what does that mean to you guys as, as a family? Uh, that's a big thing to me now that it's happened. If I didn't go there, then I would have been a little iffy on it. But now that my whole family is going there, that's a big thing to me, and uh, it's something I can say for the rest of my life. Yeah, a, I know there's probably a millions of KU fans Watching, not watching this, but ready to report on this. If you could say anything to them, what would that be? Uh, just be ready for next year. We're going to come up there, have a lot of fun, and hopefully win it all next year. Get the national championship two and three years. No problem. No problem.
Thank you. Thanks a lot. I know, we, I know we've called you a lot, but we appreciate it. I was up there. I was really young. I don't even remember what I was up there for. I was either up there with my brother. Well, I had to be up there with my brother. Either he was getting recruited or we went to a game or something. I was up there. Hey, X, what? Oh, yeah, can we, can we talk about my car? Is my car good, baby? Oh, yeah, your car. <laughs> can, you just, can you just touch on that real quick? I know you told me not to say anything in the first book, but can you just touch on kind of what happened? Uh, well, yeah, my, my high school coach, Coach Bercy, he, uh when I was making my decision the first time around, he had written, a, written where he thought I would go, and he was going to share it with me, but he was going to keep it a secret to see or until I made my decision. And I made my first decision, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't tell him I wanted to see it, so. And then he told me I, after I dropped my uh, decision, he, his car was right. His, uh, it played out the way it was Kansas. So his, and did you so have his, a car too, or did you not? Have no, a car? I didn't have a car. He just he just thought he knew where I was going to go, and he got it he got it correct. Okay, so the first time he did, and the second time he did. No, the first time he got it. Or yeah, oh yeah, yeah. First time he got it wrong. He had Kansas. Okay. But his, and, and how about a, a vivid vivid memory of Allen Fieldhouse? Anything that stands out? I know you've been to games. I know you've any one or two memories that. Do you really remember? Uh, I really don't have any like memorable memories. I just love why I just love the gym. I love the atmosphere and I love every everybody in there. It's just so crazy. And how about number number thirteen? Is that what you'll wear? Do you think? Uh, I think that's retired by Will Chamberlain, so I might wear number one. Hey, you can still wear it. You can still wear it. Yeah. You can still wear it. Yeah. I, I, my brother might wear thirteen too, so because my brother and my dad wore thirteen, that's why I wore it. Uh, you can talk about the sacrifice you made the first time, you know, to, to be a CJ. I guess what drove you to, to make that decision? Uh, just being close to my brother. Being, uh, I love my fr- my brother and I love my family, and I do anything for my family, so it, it didn't matter to me. It wasn't a huge sacrifice for me to go to a different college or anything, but to keep my family together. Is, that's what I'm all about. And now this time you get to be a little more selfish. Right? Get you one more. Yeah, yeah. I get, the, I get the. I get the. Everybody had it. Everybody has it their way, so it's a it's a good deal. Uh, I, you listen to I, I just thought of a great fundraiser for our high school. I'm going to have you sign that card, and I'm going to put it on eBay for the game. <laughs> <laughs> You're more like 220, right? 215, 220? What about 225. 225. Oh, oh, oh. what you said? <laughs> what? What? We thought you mentioned 215. I said, we thought you were 210. In eighth grade. <laughs> Are you ready, big man?